Hey guys, if you want to see one of the most beautiful holy lake in Tibet, if you want to know what I was doing there, if you want to know more about Tibet and Tibetan culture, then keep watching this video, you'll love it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lu. Today, I'll take you guys with me to go to Yangzhou Yongzhou Lake. Hey guys, uh, right now it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm warming up my car. It takes over 2 hours to drive from where I live to the beautiful lake. I got this on. Actually, this is my second time going to Yangzhou Yongzhou Lake. The first time was back in 2019. I went there with a tour group. But this time we just drive there by ourselves. My jersey, I'm again every time that we live in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet, and the Yangzhou Yongzhou Lake is located in Gongar County, Shanan City. So basically, it takes two to three hours to drive. Ooh, this tunnel is pretty long, huh? No Yangzhou Yongzhou Lake is one of the three holy lakes. The others are Namso and Mapam Yongzhou. Yangzhou Yongzhou Lake is the largest inland lake at the northern foot of the Himalayas. Oh, by the way, in case you guys don't know, Cuo in Tibetan language means lake. We also pass by a small village. Here are some footages of Tibetan village if you are interested to see. Hey, look, you guys see the sheep? I think the street is pretty clean. Driving on this street, I guess, if it's spring or autumn, the whole street might be so fascinating. We also take the dog with us in the car. I bet later she's gonna have so much fun. We almost there. Yeah! First stop is Yajiang River Valley. The altitude is 4,280 meters, roughly 14,042 feet. The moment we park our car, we can see some Tibetan mastiffs. They look so huge but very cute and fluffy. I heard that Tibetan Mastiff can be very ferocious, but they are very faithful to their owners. I heard some people say these are not purebred. Usually it is quite hard to find a purebred Tibetan Mastiff, maybe only in those local Tibetan villagers' home, because a purebred Tibetan Mastiff is not as docile as these dogs. But I don't know, comment down below if you can tell they are purebred or not. <laughs> But actually, that doesn't really matter. I love those dogs anyway. By the way, these Tibetan mastiffs are raised by local Tibetans who live around. It costs 20 Chinese yuan, like 3 US dollars per person, to take pictures with one Tibetan mastiff. These Tibetans are very nice to customers. You see the golden colored scarf around customer's neck? This is called Hada. A Tibetan Hada means respect and blessing. Oh, forget to tell you guys. I take some pictures with those Tibetan Mastiffs as well. I choose these two that I love the most among all those Tibetan Mastiffs. I really love the sunglasses on their eyes. So cute! I guess the white one wants to pee pee, and the brown one is so adorable. He just put his chain on my knee. Oh my gosh, I have many dogs already, but I still want one of these. Oh. <laughs> there are also some little sheep babies as well. They look just like marshmallow. These are yak. Yak usually lives at a place with high altitude. Ooh, we almost here. I'm so excited. We just finished parking our car. Look at these mountains. This is a typical Tibetan styled house. All in the pieces in my room. Wow, so many people are waiting in the line. 
Actually, they are waiting for taking a picture with this Yangzhou Yongcong monument. 4,990 meters, 16,371 feet. Fortunately, back in 2019, I've already had one. I also find a place look a bit like hot air balloon. I've never seen this place last time. Probably they just made it. <laughs> I also find this swing and put the dog sit next to me. <laughs> Gosh, I never know my laughter is that charming. <laughs> I appreciate the beautiful weather today. I'm glad it is not raining. And soon I'll show you guys the beautiful holy lake, Yangzhou Yongcheok Lake. Are you ready? By the way, the name of the lake is called Yang Zhuo Yong Cuo, also called Yang Hu. Look at the color of this lake. So blue. Actually, this is my second time visiting here. According to Tibetan mythology, Yang Zhuo Yong Cuo Lake is the transformation of a goddess. Yang Zhuo means jade in Tibetan language. The lake's color is the source of this name. Yangzhou Yongcheo Lake has an area of 638 square kilometers, 246 square miles. This is called money stones. Money stones are stone plates, rocks, or pebbles inscribed with the six-syllabled mantra of Avalokiteshvara, Om Mani Padme Hum, as a form of prayer in Tibetan Buddhism. Money stones are intentionally placed along the roadsides and rivers or grouped together to form modes or caverns or something long walls as an offering to spirits of place or genius loci. Creating and carving money stones as devotional or intentional process art is a traditional sadhana of piety to Yedan. Right now, I'm standing at 5,000 meters, 16,404 feet altitude. It's so windy. I was filming and talking in front of the camera, but I can't hear nothing right now. Oh, too bad. And it's freaking cold. I'm holding the camera and my hands are frozen. I got a whole face mask cloth to cover myself because here it's too sunny. The ultraviolet ray here is so strong because of high altitude. I don't want to have rash on my skin when I get home. Standing at such high altitude and walking towards even higher place, my heart is beating so fast. I couldn't even breathe well. But this is such an amazing experience. Already come here twice. If give me another chance, I'll definitely keep coming. Hey guys, right now I'm standing at 5,000 meters height. <laughs> Today, the weather is pretty sunny. Uh, so you guys probably can see all those beautiful views already. And these days, those Tibetans are celebrating the traditional Tibetan New Year. Look at those stones on the floor. Uh, I believe those are some kind of religion stuff. It's for a, a good blessing. I'm not too sure about what exactly it is. Uh, and this one, those white, something like scarf, is called those are also 
uh, means good luck. <sighs> and like I mentioned, this is my second time coming here. <sighs> my very first time being here, 5,000 meters. I really feel headache and really feel dizzy. But I've been living in Tibet for a few months. So right now I'm standing here. I don't feel too much dizzy or too much headache. But still, I feel my heart is beating so fast. <sighs> And I really love this feeling. When I raise my arm, I feel like I could even touch the sky. This feeling is so amazing. And I'll send my good luck, best wishes, and the best blasts from the beautiful Tibet to everybody. Yangzhou Yongzuo Lake is so fascinating. Just a random filming can make it as a desktop wallpaper. But coming here, please wear your coat, scarf, hat, and gloves. Make sure you keep yourself warm because the wind might make you catch a cold. I'm not joking because I've been there. Well, I realized that this video is already too long. I think I'm going to post the vlog here and continue the second part in my next video. But before I let you go, let's enjoy the captivating natural mountain and lake views one more time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the second part of Yangzhou Yongzuo Lake Vlog. There are more to come, and you don't want to miss it. <laughs>